Richard Merritt is a forensic entomologist. He uses insects to help solve crimes. What I really like about forensic entomology is is you're trying to solve a mystery. Merritt knows exactly how many days it takes for maggots to reach the various stages in their life cycle. When a dead body turns up and the maggots are collected from it, Merritt can then figure out how long that person's been dead by looking at how well developed the maggots are and counting back the days. It's not for the squeamish. Um, there's no question about it. It's, it is um, uh, a science that you have to get used to. Uh, a lot of times uh, crime scene investigators, when they first start out and they go to a crime scene and see a, a dead body full of maggots, uh, they either um, lose it or they don't want anything to do with it. Whereas we look on this as an opportunity and we can you know, go in there and collect these maggots and we're used to seeing them. And w that's what we need to do to determine that uh, post-mortem interval. That period of time, the post-mortem interval, is the time between the actual death and when the body was discovered but he doesn't just deal with murders. Forensic entomology really involves any aspect of insects in a court of law. So he can be called to testify about a maggot in a hamburger, or... You have termite damage to your house. Uh, you have someone who uh, calls you and said that there's bugs coming out of their orifices and they want you to look at them. But mostly Merit deals with the types of forensic entomology that you see on TV. Medical. Uh, legal criminal entomology, which deals with determining the time between death and corpse discovery. And how does he deal with all those grisly crime scenes and all the dead bodies? After a while, and I know this sounds callous, but you do become callous. You get used to seeing the same thing over and over again, and, and after a while it doesn't affect you as much. But if anything affects me, if I had to say anything, it, it is children. Uh, that I don't like to see that. Not that I enjoy seeing adults, but I'm more callous to that because that's mostly what it is, is adults that I deal with. Merritt doesn't practice forensic entomology full time. He's actually an aquatic entomologist by trade. I think it would get um, old looking at maggots eight or 12 hours a day. He's currently studying emerging diseases in his lab at MSU, but when it comes to criminal cases, his expertise is just a phone call away. For Discovery News, I'm James Williams.